Some Chinese tourists were arrested for making Nazi salutes in Berlin. They were making Heil Hitler salutes outside the German parliament. Why, I don't know. They were freed after posting bail for 500 euros, which is almost $600. Um, the pair will be charged, according to Slate, with, quote, using symbols of illegal organizations, according to the police statement. It is illegal to do that in Germany because of how bad World War II was, to be short. Thoughts, five words or less. Nine, nine, nine. Tourist check turn. Ni hao, could you do this? <laughs> so that's like the one word I know, one term I know in um, Chinese, yeah, bro. Mandarin. Yeah, so. Yeah, uh, pretty straightforward, I think. It's weird. So here's the part for me: is what would what do you think would possess these folks to do this? I couldn't even begin to tell you. Well, because tourists, uh, no, no, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, people that travel, like you know, you see tourists that come to LA that want to do all the the um, things that LA has to offer, you know, like they go to Hollywood and Highland, they mm -hmm. do all these things, so they want to be immersed in that the place that they're in. Maybe that's what they were trying to do. I mean, what could possess them to want to do that? Who knows? Grace, explain them I to have, me f I on have your behalf. No idea. No. Um, I the only like rationale I can think of is that there was some sort of a disconnect in the history that they learned between what happened in World War II and like how serious and awful the Nazis were. Right, yeah. And that they just didn't really uh, internalize that seriously enough. So when they got to Berlin, they're like, oh, Nazis were here, Nazis, this is the Nazi salute. Mm -hmm. And just, I, because I, I would like to believe that there was no malice behind this action, that they weren't intentionally going there to like, oh, I, let's get arrested in Berlin. Like what tourist wants to have that happen? on their vacation. So I think there must have been a major disconnect in how they learned about what Nazis were and are and why that is not cool in Berlin. Yeah, I think you just have these folks come up and you say, uh, don't do that, it costs this much. You broke a law that we have, Get it, go, just go now. I'm not gonna hold them around and hold them accountable oh, for so something you, that they so can't. So you don't agree with them having been arrested? I'm fine with arresting. I arrest them, they broke the law, bring them aside and say, okay, let's make a story here and in your home country about it, even though it won't get to your people because it's China. <laughs> um, that's the thing. Okay, so there's two reasons for me. One, you just don't really fully understand it. You're in Germany. What are the right. three things there's I know like about Germany? Cars, um, you know, <clears throat> planes, and schnitzel. I don't even know planes. It's ch cars, schnitzel, and Nazis. What is schnitzel, by the way? Schnitzel's not a Wiener. Schnitzel is different from the Venus. The mm -hmm. schnitzel is a pounded patty, it's fried It's like a flat. fried uh, chicken? pork. Oh, it's pork, it's yeah. not chicken. Is it chicken? You'd have to say chicken schnitzel. Oh yeah, um, and it's really good. Yeah, it's really delicious. I mean, I haven't had it for years, but. I had it good. this year in Germany. Oh, they said like a Wiener schnitzel. It's, uh, no. yeah, it's not. It's not all it's cracked up to be a Anyway, so anyway, you're a so, tourist, you so go to Germany, you, go to, you know sorry, schnitzel, you I know digress, cars, my bad. you know Nazis. And you're like, Nazi, so I'm gonna take a photo, I'm gonna do the Nazi thing. If I was in France, I would do, I don't know, something French. If I was in England, I would stand next to the guard and do this, you know, and that's it. Right, or, like, so that's it. Or, so I was in uh, Japan and um, a Pop Trigger fan was there. Small world, and uh, said that he was like, "Where'd you go?" I said, "Thailand." He said, "My friend that I know is from Thailand, and it's illegal to talk crap about the king in Thailand, and <laughs> so you will go to jail for it if you say bad stuff." And so this guy, as soon as he had gotten to Japan, got up on the balcony and shouted, "I hate the king," because he could. He was far away from it. So maybe the level of um, of censorship that he gets at home, uh. ostensibly, it's not as bad all day and day and out from what I've heard of people that live there. But like the level of censorship that he has in his home country, there he didn't feel like he had as much censorship so they could do what they wanted. Either way, hopefully lesson learned, don't do it. I understand why Nazi, well, Germany's, Germany's so touchy about the Nazi thing. Uh -huh. I'm glad they have laws against it, kind of a never again mentality. Right. I don't know. What do you guys think? Give us your thoughts in the comments section below.